Welcome to another Porn Free FAQ. In this one, we're going to be tackling the question of how long will it take me to completely heal my brain from porn? It's a good question. And I usually get this question from guys who are suffering from some kind of sexual dysfunction. You know, maybe they've got erectile dysfunction or delayed ejaculation or some kind of troubling fetish or something like that that's sort of messing up their life. Okay. Well, the answer to this question, you know, is it depends. There's a few variables we got to look at. First one is probably age, okay? If you're an older guy, older guys tend to reboot sooner. Uh, the reason for this is because they often have prior sexual experiences to their exposure to porn, um, and also their brain is older when they start using it, so it's already, you know, kind of more solid in a sense, okay? Um, so, you know, if you're an older guy, maybe it's going to take you like a month, two months, three months to be healed from sexual dysfunction. Uh, could, you know, obviously, there are cases where, you know, it's shorter, in some cases it's longer. You know, it's no hard and fast rule, but that's a, a general anecdotal trend that I've seen. And then if you're not an older guy, if you're a younger guy, if your formative sexual experiences were with porn and you've developed some kind of sexual dysfunction, well, then that will take a bit longer often, you know, and I've heard it taking up to like a year or even two years, but I would say for two years, like there's some other baggage or something that's going on, some kind of mindset psychological thing that is also at play. Um, but you know, up to a year it can take if you're suffering from like really bad ED or something like that. Um, but you know, not everybody has sexual dysfunction who wants to quit porn, but they're still interested in knowing how long is this going to take me? How long is it going to take for my brain to heal? Well, you got to understand that there's different layers of healing. All right. So the first kind of layer that we're concerned with is healing from the compulsion. And this is kind of like that autopilot. Like I reach for porn without thinking about it. You know, it's just kind of like, I just, it's what I do. It's like a reflex. That's the first thing that changes. And I would say that you're going to probably, if you go, you know, probably about six weeks or more, if you get to like the eight week mark, you know, definitely if you hit 90 days, um, you've pretty much gotten past the compulsion. You're not compulsively using porn anymore at that point. Um, so you've healed the compulsion, but you know, the cravings and the thoughts about porn, that's the next stage. You may be able to be past the compulsion, but still have cravings and still have thoughts. And you know, the, the intensity of the cravings, it's kind of like it comes in like free. It comes in clusters. All right. When you first quit porn, usually there's a high intensity of cravings. And I would say these cravings on average for most people, they tend to peak in the three to six week mark. And it's not like you're craving the entire time. It's just you just have a higher concentration of spikes. OK, of spikes of craving. You know, a craving rarely lasts more than like 15 minutes. Sometimes it does, but rarely it does. It's just you just have more of those 15 minute spikes. OK, and so as you get further and further beyond that six week period, the intensity of those cravings and the frequency of those cravings often declines. OK, it doesn't mean that you don't have those spikes anymore. It just continues to decline. And the further and further along you get, the less and less frequent and often the less intense those cravings become. OK, so that's the porn cravings and, and the thoughts follow a similar pattern. OK, you know, they're going to be, you know, popping up a lot at first and then they will, you know, they'll peak at a point and then they'll start to gradually fade. Now, the sort of the last thing that I would say to really fade is the uh, really just the, the lust habits. OK, like the habits of, you know, looking at a woman and then just like instantly teleporting her to like a fantasy world where you're having sex with her and you're just like aching after her and you want her so bad and all that kind of thing. That can take a while. That can take, you know, year, you know, more depending on what kind of inner work you're doing. But, you know, just because you deal with lust, that's an that's a significantly better position to be in than dealing with, uh, you know, an actual porn addiction, you know, to. So if you can get to that point where you're just dealing with lust, but you're not dealing with porn anymore, you've already, you know, had a major win in my estimation. So, you know, let that be a journey. Sometimes, you know, self mastery in that regard, it's a lifelong thing. That's fine. Let yourself engage on the journey. So uh, that's what I got for you guys today. Stay sharp. I'll see you in the next one. If you're ready to kick your porn habit and start thriving in real life rather than living in a fantasy, then check out my free reboot regimen guide by clicking the link in the description. In it, I'll teach you the system of simple lifestyle and habit shifts that I've used to help thousands of guys quit porn and transform their lives. Also, if you want to see more content like this, then you just need to press two buttons, the subscribe button and then the bell button to turn on notifications. And if you could leave a like while you're at it, I'd really appreciate it.